Hello and welcome to Patricia's Orchids. Today I'd like to share with you some new orchids. On Saturday was the Wessex Society Garden Party where I acquired three new orchids. This one is the Fragmopedium Ainsworthy and it is a cro primary cross between Longifolium and Sedeni. It's a lovely plant with multiple growths. And this is uh, Phaeus Walichi. Uh, this is actually the second time I've attempted to grow this, so hopefully I'll do better. It's Phaeus Walichi. It grows in dense in ravines and dense forests at about 900 to 1300 meters high. The flowers are 5.6 inches or 14 centimeters. And uh, it's quite a big plant when it blooms. So, and over here we have a Wilsonera uh, I'm going to totally butcher this name because I never took French at school, but it says Bon Nu, Bon Nu, Nui, Bon Nu. Anyway, it basically means good night in English. So this is my Wilsonera Bon Nui. So, anyway. I'm new to Oncidium type orchids, so hopefully I'll be able to grow it. I'm pleased with all three orchids. They all show signs of new growths and new roots, so I should be fine repotting them now. Just a moment, and I will go and get the two plants that I ordered from uh, Orchid Botanics. Orchid Botanics. This is the Phaeus callosus. It comes from uh, montane forests at about ten, uh, about a thousand to eighteen hundred meters. The it grows in boulders and le leaf litter, and has fragrant, long-lasting flowers. So I'm quite pleased with this. I hope. It grows well. And this one here is a replacement. I had ordered an epidendrum, but uh, I got a phone call from Trey saying that he wasn't happy with the roots and asked me if I wanted to replace it or a refund. So I decided to try a Ancelia Africana. So uh, this as well is supposed to have fragrant flowers. So I'm hoping I'm hoping I'll be able to do the this Ancilia Africana justice. It's quite a nice plant. It's uh, got lots, several new growths, and the roots, well, it needs repotting because the roots are growing out of the bottom. But uh, yes, I'm quite pleased with it. The uh, It's a decent size, and look at those roots growing out of the bottom. Of course, I'll probably break them all when I repot it, but... It really does need repotting. I'm just going to go and start sanitizing the orchids and get them ready for repotting. I'll be back in a moment. Bye. So I've now taken all the uh, new orchids out of their pots, washed and cleaned the roots to the best of my abilities. I currently have the uh, Ancilia africana soaking in hydrogen peroxide. I'll swirl the roots and try and get the hydrogen peroxide into all the little nooks and crannies. I have been using this method for just over a year now, and so far I've not had any uh, bush snails or slugs in the greenhouse. I don't know how effective this is against hard-bodied pests such as scale but it does seem to be effective against soft-bodied pests that do not have a protective layer.
Because my Phragmopedium is in bloom, I do not want to uh, repot it yet. So I will soak the roots, media, and the base of the plant in hydrogen peroxide for about five minutes before I let it drain overnight. Now that everything has been treated with hydrogen peroxide, I will now leave it to dry overnight and hopefully in the morning it'll be dry and I can pot things up. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.